Hey freshmen, today I am talking about how to complete a BLAST assignment in StudySync. So hopefully you already know how to log in. Um, I'm going to show you the feature called BLAST in StudySync. So right now I'm in preview mode. Yours will look a little bit different, but this is going to give you a really good idea of what it will look like. So a BLAST is a very short assignment in StudySync. We are going to try one that's just kind of a basic about study sync um, this week in class so you'll see as you scroll down it's got like a little banner picture it's got the title of the assignment this one's just called blast away and then it has this little sentence down underneath the title over here on the left it says create your blast and has a question this is where you're going to type your response after you've read the background information. Notice it's only 140 characters. So we're not looking for an essay here. We're looking for a tweet. Okay, this is not long. It's not hard. It's just a fun little, here's some information. How do you feel about it? Type activity. So in this blast, it gives you the background. Um, you can change your annotation preferences. Um, if you learn best by annotating things, that is a feature you can use in StudySync. Also, if you like to have your paragraphs numbered, you can click this numbers button and numbers will show up over here, um, just if that's an organizational thing you like for your own learning. So first thing you're gonna do on a blast is you're going to read the background information. This one is just stuff about StudySync itself. Blah, blah, blah. See, it's not super long. Not bad at all. And then over here, it has this fun little feature called Number Crunch. So it has just a random number with a question mark under it. You can click the question mark and it tells you what that number has to do with the information you just read. So the number is 24. According to a 200, 2015 Pew Research Center study, 24, there's that number, percent of teens say they are online almost constantly. With virtual learning, you guys probably feel that pretty hard. Okay, so once you have read this and looked at the number crunch, you're going to come back up to the top. How do contemporary issues and culture shape your worldview? You're just going to type your answer in there. Um, please do your best to use proper grammar and spelling and capitalization and all that. But again, we're not looking for an essay. Um, also, you can answer the study sync quick poll. Which kind of news do you find yourself reading and responding to the most? And then there's your options. Once you submit your answer, you can see like the results of what everybody else in your class has put. Also, I believe in Study Sync, once you submit your answer here, you can see what your classmates have put and you can like click like or stuff like that. So make sure that you are putting something you don't mind other people seeing. But that is how to do a blast. Now it's your turn to go and try and do it yourself.